So after my last video creating an AI for Flabby Bird, I wanted more of a challenge. To add an AI to a game where it's a lot more difficult to learn, and I decided on the Chrome Dinosaur game. If your Wi-Fi cut off and you tried to search something on Google, this little guy shows up. I'm sure you've seen him many times. If you just press spacebar or the up arrow, the little dinosaur starts running and you have a cool little game. This is what I will be adding an AI to. But first, we need to make the game. Step numero uno, let's add a moving ground. Nice and simple. Look at that. I'm sure the process will be this smooth all throughout. Step two, let's plop in the little dinosaur. Easy stuff. Ain't he a little cutie with his quick little run? Now I'm going to throw together some code and let's make him jump. All right, here we go. No. <laughs> let's try again. <laughs> Okay, you know what? At least you're going in the right direction. And there we go. That's better. Now the son of a bitch can jump. Now, there's just one more thing to add for the dino, and that's his crouch or ducking motion, so he can go underneath birds. Thankfully, this is actually very easy to add, so there we go. Look at him go. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay, dino's done. Now, the next step is to add the obstacles. In the dino game, there are a total of seven different obstacles. There's big cacti, single, double, and a lot. And then there's the small version equivalent of that. And lastly, of course, the bird. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly just shang all this in, except for the bird for now, cause fuck them birds, bro. So to make up for that, I'll just throw in the score counter now. Why not? Whoa, 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 I do not know how I messed up that bad. Yeah, that is one too many cacti, I think. Yeah, I think I, uh, I messed up the obstacle spawn timer. But that's alright, don't worry. Nothing a quick bug fix can't fix. And voila! Would you look at that? A perfect chrome dinosaur game. Of course, there's no collision detection of birds yet, but at least it looks like the game now. So of course, now let's code up the collision detection and I'll even add a little visualization so you can see how that works. So if you look here, you can see red boxes around the dino and all the obstacles. This is what's called bounding box collision detection and it is actually the most commonly used form of collision detection because of how simple it is. Basically, if the boxes overlap, then that is a collision detected and the dino will die. So right here, this tiny little overlap is what killed the dino. I don't know, I, I find it pretty cool. But you know what definitely is cool? The next step, adding the AI. But wait, 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 you didn't add the birds. Yeah, I did. I just don't want to give them extra screen time. Screw those birds. You'll see them later anyways. The AI I'm going to add is called NEAT. The way NEAT works is it mimics genetic evolution like real life. A population of 500 dinosaurs will be created and they will each be given a brain that will be very stupid at first, but over time, after making the right decisions, such as jumping over obstacles or ducking underneath birds, it will evolve to continue doing those things and pass their genetics down to the next generation of dinosaurs who will hopefully be better than the last. This is the same AI I used in my last video for Flappy Bird and it worked very, very well. But Flappy Bird is a simple game with only one action. Flap or don't flap. Not really much else to it. But with this game, there are a lot more factors to take in and more actions for the dinos to take. Which means the dino is definitely going to struggle for a little bit. But to be honest, that makes it more interesting. So these will be all the inputs to the dino's brain. And these will be all the outputs. Now, I cannot be bothered to explain all the inputs, but I mean like, you know, like, you get it. So with that explained, I got to work adding in the AI, and let's sit back, relax, for the most part, and watch the dinos learn. Okay, here we go, generation one. They're all stupid and taking a whole bunch of random actions. My goal for this AI is to reach a score of 10,000. If they can do that, I will be very happy. Look at that! On generation 27, the brain just evolved a ton. Yeah, now at this point, you'll start to see the dinos getting pretty decent and actually learn how to jump. Also, if you're wondering why they are constantly ducking and not running normally, well, because when riding this AI, birds were such a damn pain in the ass 
The dinos were just not learning how to duck underneath. So I just decided to give the dinos a massive bonus for just ducking underneath birds. So now they think that's the best move to do 24 seven. And to be honest, I don't care. I'm just glad they are not dying to birds anymore. Look at this, generation 39 and the dinos have pretty much perfected their jumps, but if you look carefully at their brain, there's no connection coming from the game speed node. Now, I'm not a genius, but if the game gradually gets faster and you don't adjust your timings to that, well, you're fucked. You're gonna see this be a big problem later, but for now, they do pretty well. Like this one's flying past generation 39's record it's doing surprisingly well considering it's not adjusted to the game speed fully yet almost at 8,000 we just need to get to 10,000 come on No, no, man, what this stupid dinosaur. Still, no connection to game speed. Ugh. Let's see when they eventually learn it. Okay, 16 generations later, do these dinos have what it takes to reach 10,000? They're getting close. Ten thousand, baby! <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see how much further they could go. I guess.
Oh my god, 15,000, holy shit. That was way better than I was expecting. And look, that's the updated brain. Look at that difference that one connection from game speed made. That was incredible. This AI was a little bit of a nightmare to code this time around, but it feels good to see it finally work. If you want to see more of this, you can check out my Flappy Bird video right here, and or I will see you in the next video.